I've enjoyed it very much. I uh, just heard a couple of the talks which were very interesting to me. Uh, I'm, um, uh, my background is both um, um, uh, English uh, professor, but I'm also a, a retired Naval Reserve officer. And so, uh, by various means, I've um, done research about the American Navy ships which were in um, uh, the Pontus, uh, in uh, uh, Samsun, one of the ports, the great ports of the Pontus, uh, from 1921 to 1922. And we have found, the, my partner, Sam Kotsoglu, um, from Chicago and I, uh, have found in the National Archives uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, war diaries, the recollections of American ship captains, which were there for a year and a half. Well, the ship captains were uh, were uh, uh, coming to and not knowing much about what was going on, and then they would hear about all sorts of things like um, uh, the, uh, the massacre took place um, uh, of all the men who had been taken sent out of uh, all the Greek men who had been taken uh, taken out of uh, uh, of um, Samsun, and within a couple of um, uh, within a day, they, half of them that had been massacred, uh, about 1,500 had been massacred at a little town called Kavak. Uh, and so that is uh, discussed and uh, uh, narrated in the uh, in the war diaries. Uh, they learned about it little by little, um, and so the um, uh, and then there was a much greater anxiety amongst the ten to twelve thousand uh, women, children, and um, uh, and old people who were um, uh, in uh, danger of being deported. Uh, they um, uh, and and so. The, some um, uh, of the Americans were very much uh, concerned about this. Their, their boss, the admiral, back in Constantinople, uh, said, you can't uh, do anything about this. We are here and we're supposed to be neutral. But at least at this occasion, one time, uh, the, uh, the um, ship captain who was in Samsun persuaded the admiral through a very, very heartfelt um, uh, handwritten letter uh, not to uh, um, not uh, to uh, complain to Mustafa Kemal, uh, not to deport the women and children, and by so doing, and uh, even though the admiral was more or less pro turk by so doing, uh, the, he got the admiral to um, to complain uh, directly by telegraph to Mustafa Kemal, and the deportation of women and children from Samsun was um, was uh, rescinded. Uh, so, as a result of that, actually, those 10 to 12,000 of um, um, Greek, uh, of uh, Ottoman Greek uh, women and children, were saved. It turns out uh, permanently saved because somehow Mustafa Kemal didn't want to irritate the admiral over here in this part of the of the of the country. Uh, although, uh, as everyone knows, so many others were sent on deportation trails. How such crimes affect everyone? one way or another, either immediately directly to the victims or people who are there for work yes. and they become uh, m m martyrs, they're actually there to see all these crimes. So how crucial is for our planet, all nations, to find the courage and finally put a stop into the crime of genocide? Well, I, I think you, uh, you and I know that uh, it's a matter of uh, personal uh, issues uh, in Germany and, and in uh, uh, in other places, in in um, in, in uh, uh, Pontus uh, and elsewhere, there were very, there have been uh, very very outspoken people against what was going on, and those have become a kind of hero to us, even though they didn't stop the crime. Sometimes it can stop the crime. In this particular case of the one. Um, of the one uh, officer persuaded the admiral, uh, he did save you know thousands of lives. Thank you very much. Do you enjoy this uh, conference? Is it as important as we want it to be? Do we make a statement? I think it's a very very fine conference. I think uh, the the story of what happened in in, in uh, Turkey and especially in the Pontus of, of Turkey is a is a very moving story and. Um, the fact that the Americans were there to see it is one reason it has become and it becomes very interesting to me. Okay. Thank you very, very much.